morning guys this is kenzo extra hot forex so let's go straight to our weekly analysis uh, it's sunday so as you can see the market has been like really really going down because of the new strain of whatever uh, of the virus so uh, what we can do is on this four hour time frame since the market uh, did sell off like this this is crazy sell off that we have I think we never seen something like this. Uh, the last time we see something like this is last year, March, February, the time uh, of the virus and stuff like that. So uh, the best thing that we can do so that we can st stay stay on our lay uh, is to clear the chart and use a different mindset. Please guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. We have a special $10, $10, ten dollar for signals vip signals is this is a black friday special and also ten dollar for system so let's go straight to the chart so i'm just going to use daily time frame me because the other time frames if you check they go going to be like really really this candlesticks won't really fit in we won't see the bigger picture i hope you see that i hope you understand that so let's clear our chart and see what we can uh, get from this area so what I'm trying to say to get here, I'm trying to link uh, this lowest points that I see here. You see this point? I'm trying to link those points and see if maybe I can get something like that. I hope you understand that. So let's do that and see if maybe we can get something. You can start from here going back. It's also fine. Uh, let's see. I don't know. If it doesn't make sense, we don't force the market to give us what we want so it seems like here we find something like this which is not going to be correct because the market already uh, below that area so let's try to connect this area and this one uh, also that it means uh, we actually don't have a proper uh, resistant or support line on a trending uh, line so what we can try here uh, it's it's simple it's quite simple what we can try is we can try to find a support area like this a horizontal support like this and so you see what maybe if the market reaches this area we can say maybe it will respect if maybe it reaches this area maybe the market is going to respect that and push higher remember even if the market is going to push lower like this this is going to give us some very nice opportunities uh, to buy buy more in the market so when we see the market doing like this it's it's a very good thing but the thing is it's bad if maybe you are on the wrong side of the market you know the pain obviously i won't talk much about that but if you are on the wrong side uh, it means yeah you your account maybe it's bleeding so if we did not find the support like that uh, what we can do is let's try to find an area where we think maybe the market is going to respect an area like this one here uh sorry an area like this one here what what is that okay an area like this you can see this area and when we try to connect them we might find something like a support zone so what we can do is wait for the market to reach this area if the market does reach that area it's when we can say you see what if it respect this area now we can ride with the market go into the upside and what i know is the market is going to give us some nice very very nice uh, higher highs i mean it's going to create some very new high uh, levels from this area uh, if the market respects that so let me try i try i think i see something what if we connect this and this something like that yeah we can also create something like that let me see that on a four hour time frame and see if maybe i get uh okay you can see this move is like way way too big okay i think this can also make sense so what we can do is we can draw this uh to uh resistor so the support lines as a trans lines here you can see that but again since we have this area you can see this area made sense something like this you see we should uh, think about something like that and say you know what 
we must mark our area like that now i'm going to remove that but i will know that okay if the market is going to come here and not respect this area i'll be waiting for the market maybe to touch around this area then if maybe the market is breaking that it means yeah the sell off is still continuing to continuing very 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 strong you see but at the moment we will just say we have to wait for the market to reach this support area here we thought maybe we had some support areas around this level you know what the market just broke everything the market just broke everything so and you can see how big is this candlestick so it's quite quite big so it means uh, if you are in a sell obviously you are eating but if if you want to buy wait for the market to give you something wait for the market to give you a clue maybe around this area when the market start to push back then it's where you can say it's time for me to buy don't don't just jump on the market i hope you understand that and if maybe the market keep breaking this area it means we're still in for a sell we're still in for a sell so yeah i think maybe the, the way I, I i i i explained everything i think it's way way simple to understand you see so let's push to the next one which is going to be gold so surprisingly gold did not drop crazily so gold tried to push up and down so it means uh, gold is a bit stronger at the moment uh, even if so we saw it pushing high a little bit then it pushed back again but the structure is quite simple we are on an uptrend which means we're supposed to, to do what to look for buy opportunities look at these areas to look for buy opportunities and the market is coming back around that area which means uh, maybe dollar is quite strong so maybe when the market is playing around this area maybe it wants to break that area we're not sure about that at the moment but uh, it's possible it's possible that the market can break this support area and keep going lower it's way way too possible but at the moment the market is still respecting that support which means we it's, it's, we, it's a very good area to do it to buy actually when you go on a bit small time frame which we're going to do the daily analysis tomorrow it means it's where we're going to say okay the market is now respecting that it means we can just say let's place our buy pending orders maybe the market is going to go in our favor something like that so at the moment we're still on bullish why because the market did not break our support area we just have to look wait for a very nice uh, structure before we say we buy but at the moment we are on a very nice uh, zone where we can say it's a buy zone where we can say actually it's time for us to buy something like that i hope we understand unless 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 the market breaks this area and keep going lower and lower then it's where we can say the market maybe will start to create uh, some bearish momentum but it's fine it's fine at the moment i don't see that so which means uh, we're still bullish we're still bullish but you still have to think about that and say okay the market is playing around uh, the, the support area maybe the market wants to break that maybe the market wants to break that uh, but at the moment if it's not broken it means we're still pushing up so let's push to the next one please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends you can see the percentage here uh, the market is just really selling off um 5.25 3 2 percentage to show that the market is selling this one is the first time i never seen something going lower like 12 percent within a day so this is the first time i see something like that mm, yeah this is a, some crazy sell off and for those who buy a uh, oil for those who buy oil they might have some very nice opportunity obviously they are watching that that 12 percent is too much it's too much so it means from 80 something to 60 something so it's way way too much so the opportunities are there uh, coming weeks coming month the opportunities are there the market is going to take time recovering that so even here i see this five percent here five three so even here it's where we're supposed to do what is supposed we're supposed to recover so now let's go straight to nasdaq 
as Nasdaq is also selling. So on Nasdaq, I'm not really surprised, but the sell-off to me is not that crazy. The sell-off to me is not that crazy. But what we see on, I already drawn the support, uh, the, 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 the support area here, the support line. We see that the market was just going up nicely. As you can see that the market came back around the support. Here the market pushed up. It's not different from what I see here. It's not different from this area. It's not different from this area. It's not different from this area. So the market can really push and reach this area. Around 15,200, maybe it's where the market can reach. So we just saw this support area. We had a support area. We can call that a counter support, maybe something like this, where the market will come and break and going to reach our support area here. It means for us to be safe, it's possible that the market won't just drop quickly. The market won't just drop like instantly and just reach the support area. The market won't just do something like this, but the market can just try to create something like this until we see the market reaching this area, if that is going to happen. But maybe you can look at your left and say, but Kenzo, I see something here. Is this going to be our support? Uh, at the moment, I don't know. Maybe that can be our support. Something that you can wait. Uh, it's better to wait for the market. Wait for the market to give you a clue before maybe you say, maybe it's time for me to buy. But if that is not happening, we're still waiting for the market uh, to reach this support. This is our hope as a support area. Uh, for now, actually, it's our hope for support uh, zone. But besides that, besides that, we don't have anything that we can say it's a proper support beside this. So it means if the market is going to keep selling, we, we, we hope the market is going to reach this area before we see the market pushing up. Simple as that. So for more details, for more details, tomorrow is still a day. Come back here on the same channel. Come and watch and see what we have updated because the market will be moving. So this is just a, a weekly, sorry, it's just a weekly analysis. What might happen, what happened uh, last week. So here even on US data, you can see a very, very crazy candlestick. Just look at that. That is a very, like, very strong bearish momentum. And with this type of bearish momentum, we might find a gap tomorrow you might find the market around this area when we wake up early in the morning so just make sure you get up early you wake up early and try to see if the market is creating those uh, moves you see so here let's try to see you can see this move guys it's very 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 strong so the last time we saw that crazy i mean like with the with that momentum i think it's last year my february march there the time of the corona thing i'm not saying the move is bigger than that you can see here here is too small but the momentum the drop is way too big uh, just for a one day i see the other one here i see the other one there but besides that the moves were the market was still going lower but not very quick like that, you see. So it means that might be uh, something serious. That might be something serious, uh, which uh, we should be careful as traders. And after this, we should learn our lesson and say, okay, the market short out something. The market, if it's selling like this, we want to see if the market is going to push up. If it pushes up, it means, okay, this is how the market moves, guys. The market won't always push lower. The market will always have time to breathe before it pushes higher again. I, I, I expect the market to push a little bit higher next week, even if it's not that high because the news are too much, especially of the virus. So the news are like way, way too much. They say there is a, another variant which is found in South Africa. Uh, that also scared the market that's why we see there's so much fear in the market that's why we see the market pushing lower so we expect maybe they will find something very quick then we will see the market trying to push up but i know if you are in stocks uh, Pfizer, madonna johnson and johnson 
they going to make a lot of from this because it means they still going to invest more to fight those type of viruses and once they get that it means their portfolios they're going to grow since they're going to provide that to different countries and while people buy or while government pay them obviously their portfolio uh, their portfolio is going to grow i hope you understand stocks if you don't you will have to go and learn because you are in investing we know that you're trading but you are actually an investor so what do we see here is we see the market is like still going lower as other indices but we have something like a support here and this support might be broken very easily we might see the market going lower and lower so it's a very good time actually to be out of the market so if maybe the market doesn't respect that we might have something like this we can say maybe this area is a support but as i used to say sometimes let's wait for the market to give us the structure wait for the market to give you the structure mm, then we can say now we can draw our things because i understand this sell-off is just strong not like very big big but even if it's strong like this uh, one way or another the market has to recover Ooh. sorry 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 one way or another the market has to recover so and when that happens you should be in the market you should be in the market you see so what do we see we see the market is selling off we are very very close actually we are on a support which the market is trying to break uh, it means we must have to be we, we have to be ready we don't have to buy obviously we just have to be ready and see if the market is going to respect the support before maybe we can say now the market is recovering else maybe the market is going to still push lower where people they're going to sell if the market break this support area here it's where i can say you know what now it's time to sell why because we no longer on that bullish momentum i hope you understand that so we only buy when the market is going up if it's going down we sell i hope you understand that so let's move to the last one with each, which is german 30 or german 40 uh, this one also created some crazy moves uh, the sell off is very very strong the sell off is very very strong uh, let's see also this guys it's also a, a daily time frame you can see this guys this is last year here we'll check here if you ever seen something like this it means this thing is serious check here check here you never seen something like this you never seen a very strong candlestick of a sell-off like that i never seen that all the candles were just half that even if they were going up down but they were just going nicely so it means the sell, so the sell off is very strong if you did not see that stay out of the market and start, try to to understand what's really happening don't get confused yourself with too much news because sometimes when something like this happens you can go start, start to check the news and stuff like that sometimes they will end up changing the way your confirmations of the trade because now you have too much information instead of you focusing on the strategy you might start to have like um, like multiple information before you take the trade before you take the decision so sometimes you must limit yourself uh, out of those the news that we find every day yes it's fine you, you can still watch the news but just watch them slightly don't make them like as like the final decider because that way they might make you to fail or to lose something so here we have another support area you can see that this is the daily time frame guys it's German 40 or German 30 as they call, as they call it, uh, it these days so around this area we have an area as a support i don't know if you see that that area might be respected very nicely might be respected very nicely but because we have so many news going on uh, it means there's possibility that the market can break this area and keep going lower 
there's that possibility but if not if the market is going to respect this support area here we're going to see the market respecting this area starting to push higher and higher i hope you understand that guys i hope you understand that so please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends we still have that tender special it's a vip special actually for signals you pay once it's lifetime and we also have a indicator signal system indicator where it's going to give you the the signals it's also ten dollars this is just a black friday special please hurry up uh, if you come late you you might find the price uh, changed so this is kenzo guys please don't forget to smash that subscribe uh, button once again thanks to everyone who already subscribed thank you guys come tomorrow come back to the same channel and watch this the, the, the updates the updates that i'll be doing about whatever that i have analyzed here because the market might be on a different level on a different uh, zone where we need to update our analysis we should update our analysis actually daily you see so thank you guys this is kenzo extra hot forex bye